Hi YouTube. This package of Bic Atlantis comfort pins has been sitting on my desk for weeks now and I thought I'd go ahead in this video and talk about it. Alright, let's get a close up of the package here before I break it open. Big Atlantis Comfort. Comfortable grip. Comfortable grip. And long lasting smooth ink. The little needle goes all the way to smoother. Big smoothness meter. It's medium. Black ink ball pens. Comes with three of them in here. And you see a comfortable grip, long lasting, smooth ink, sleek, stylish, retractable ball pen, smoother than Big Classic and longer lasting than gel. And a clip and earn coupon thingy here, of some sort. Alright. Has a hole in the back. Apparently, that's so either you can feel the rubbery grip or you can stick your finger in here and rip this thing apart. I'm thinking they just want you to be able to feel the grip. So I'm just going to use a pair of scissors. Do this the old fashioned way. Once you do this, of course, the package is no longer any good. Let's take one out. Put this to the side. All right, close up look of the Bic Atlantis Comfort. Okay, this is a grayish plastic clip on the end there. Everything here is plastic, plastic. You have this rubber grip here, feels pretty nice. A little big plastic thing here little chrome plastic tip here retractable clicks really nice take a look at the tip there you see yep that's a medium tip alright big fat tip okay got a little paint on my hands I'm doing a little porch work here today and anyway if you watch my videos you'll know my nails are always messed up I'm always tinkering with something but back on the pin it's a lightweight pen, which is a good thing well, for some, I guess. Maybe not for everybody. Well, let's see how it writes. So, we we'll grab a little paper. Now, my first impression is it feels like a nice pen. I like it. Doesn't seem like it would be something that uh, would bother me. It doesn't have that clip type thing where you 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 do this but with the clip which I don't like I showed that in another video so so far so good let's see how this thing writes if it really writes really nice and smooth okay this is the Bic Atlantis Comfort well it writes cheap, cheaply as the cost of the pen is, it's cheap. It's kind of a cheap write, cheap write. Is it smooth? Yes, it's smooth. It's, uh, you know, it's a ballpoint. It feels like a ballpoint, all right? Let's see here. They call this a ballpoint pen? Hmm. Yeah, yeah, right there. Ball pins. So it's it's a ballpoint pin. Ball point. Um compared to a gel pen or something like that, I don't really 
I don't really think it writes as nice as that. Here's my Uniball Signo. You might have remembered this one, the 207. And, uh... Yeah, it's a completely different feel. It's kind of hard to describe the for a ballpoint. It rolls very smoothly. I mean, it there's there's no um, resistance to writing. It definitely glides and writes, but I don't really like the quality of the write itself. So you can see it for yourself. It looks kind of cheap. It's not a solid right. Like you can see that uni. Is it a uniball? Yeah. See the uniball pen that I just took off my desk here. My focus is terrible. Let's try this. Okay, can we get a focus? Right there. Okay, this this is a ball type pen as well, and you can see that it it has a solid right. Whereas this Atlantis, it it's not a clean right. If you can see, it's like you got little white in between the ink here. It's like it, it just isn't. It just doesn't look like solid black. It, it's like it, it's got some kind of, I don't know. It's, it's not a very, it's not a very refined right. It's a cheap right. I'm going to call this a cheap right. Okay, you know, it's good for you know take quick notes, but it's a giveaway. Um, it's not, it's not very high quality right. I personally, um, it looks fine. It feels fine. It writes smooth. I don't like. However, the way the right looks, I just think it, I just think it doesn't uh, flow nicely like the other pins that we have tested. So, um, I can't definitely recommend this pin. Um, I just think it's kind of cheap. So it's just so cheesy. Anyway, hopefully I don't offend anyone who actually likes this pin. But um, that's pretty much my assessment of this Bic Atlantis is save your money. Go get yourself maybe a, a Uniball pin. These are really nice. Or one of those Jetstream pins. Those are really nice. Okay, well that does it for this short vid on the, the Bic Atlantis Comfort pin. If you like this review, please give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't done so already, please subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.